Hey guys, yo, what's up and welcome to Jump Inside Games. Today we are doing a trailer reaction to a game called Alan Wake 2. Now, the previous game of this, Alan Wake, the original, that came out a long time ago, I thought it was okay, interesting. Um, I didn't complete it. I got a bit bored of it. I don't know why, it just it didn't it didn't grasp me as much as I wanted it to. So I'm hoping that this game fills in all the gaps. This game gives me a bit more horror. I didn't like that previous game. It wasn't it didn't have that horror element. It didn't really have that element I wanted from it. It it, it was okay, but I'm hoping this game does a better a better job. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> I'm trapped here, in this nightmare. I write to escape. Every word is a step forward. <gasps> okay, that's quite interesting because like, I'm kind of now getting a little bit confused about exactly what's happening in that kind of like, um, system. So is when he, when you see him go like, huh? It, you you gotta think is um is which one's the dream is this the dream or is that the dream is he writing to escape from what's happening or is he writing this story I, i'm a little bit confused but i kind of get maybe what it's trying to say into darkness i'm glad you're on this case with me anderson it's right up your alley the victim was one of their own. I love this kind of camera twirl effect, making everything a bit, everything feels weird and nothing's quite, you know, straight on. They could have made it just go normally pan in, but that wouldn't have given the effect as something's quite, something's not quite right with this whole system. So I, I kind of like that pan. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. So you knew our victim. Only the rumors. So I absolutely love the graphics in this game. I love this particular scene here. This scene looks very awesome. It looks it looks very artistic. It's really nice. I love the whole look of this. It, it looks amazing. I, I absolutely love it. Um, one of the things I was thinking they could have done with this game that would have been very interesting would have been to um, make it so... There's a dream world and a real world, and maybe he keeps flicking between both of them. That would have been an interesting concept. I don't know if that is what it is, but like I say, I don't really play that previous game, the Alan Wake, the first version. I didn't play that much of it, and that also was a long time ago. So um, I didn't really get to discover exactly what was going on. So I'm hoping this game does a better job. Anyway, let's keep moving. He was chasing a writer. Someone knew they were here, was playing a game with them. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. I love this bit right here, the bit where it shows you a little bit of what maybe the gameplay might feel like. It looks really cool. I like this. It looks really crisp. Um, I like the details. I feel very much like it's the uh, leveling up with the game of The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2. It's it's not quite at that spec, but it's, it's in that direction, which is why I love it. I absolutely love this. Uh, and it looks very dark... You've got that kind of like, I don't want to know what's happening around that corner kind of feel. Like, you can see that doorway. There's something behind that doorway. And you don't know what it is. Especially, oh, you can hear those voices as well. That's even better. It just makes everything more scary. There's like, there's something behind there. Don't go over there. There's uh, something. I forget it. Something important. Yeah, that's the bit I wanted to stop on because I just saw that just then a second ago. Uh, that's a city with ghosts in. Okay, 
that's a new one. Um, in the previous game, I don't remember a lot of them, a lot of it being in the city. I think I remember a little bit of it being in like a room or something, but that is outside in a in a in a city. So that's 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 cool. That is cool. It's better than keeping everything in a forest. So I'm liking that feel. Maybe that is part of the game. Maybe there's a bit of forest stuff and maybe there's a bit of city stuff. That would be very, very cool and interesting. Something's not right. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? And then it's going to go. Of course it is. It's Alan Wake 2. And that game is out on the 27th of October, accordingly. So, yes, uh, it got delayed by 10 days. So it, so it was the 17th of October, but now it's the 27th of October. So a bit 10-day delay there. But, yeah, that looks cool. I absolutely love that. Tell me what you think. Um, let's go through a tad bit of a breakdown. It's not a major long trailer, so we'll just go through a little bit. Number one. Number one. Uh, we'll, go, we'll work backwards this time as well. Um... Uh, no, like absolutely loving this gameplay feel i love the detail again in this it looks amazing i love like how much work they put into this um and it pays off because i it looks really good there's a lot of artisticness in this um i like the fact they've keeping this in a dark place in a room i'm not quite sure exactly what this is maybe this is a flashback maybe this is actually happening it feels like this is inside his head right now so like you know maybe this is how he's feeling but what's interesting what the story is is it him writing a story and it's coming to life because that's what it feels like right now or is it um you know maybe he's writing a story it's coming to life and when he sleeps it comes alive uh it, that could be it maybe he just wants to write scary stuff um i love some of this stuff like the detail inside some of these scenes if you're coming down in there's lots of this stuff i i like i love the look of this uh, there's so much detail there's traffic lights uh there's flags there's stuff uh, you know it, it it just comes natural to think that you know you need this type of thing to make it feel a bit more alive so yeah and and you just see some people ar around and all that kind of you know stuff working here moving around doing their jobs it, it, it feels lovely it feels quite happy and cozy which is why when you see the things like this you kind of get the feel that something bad is happening because it's dark and it's in a forest so it's like okay yeah uh these people come from the city maybe they do in the forest um it feels like this is now a new character we're playing as uh, as well as alan wake so we're gonna get to play as two different characters and it's gonna be a very interesting story um and uh yeah i, I yeah it looks great so there you go that about wraps it up Tell me what you think. Are you thinking of getting this game? What are your feels on this game? Is it is it one of those, oh yes, can't wait, this is going to be a great game, or are you not thinking that? I don't know. It's up to you. You tell me. Tell me in the comments down below. I will read them. I will look at them. I promise. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode of Jump Inside Games.